there's very little yellow and red for sure. Probably just the signature and maybe the beak of a penguin here, but burnt sienna, ivory black, phthalo blue, titanium white, yellow ochre, naphthol red. That's all we're doing for colors for this one. And we're gonna go right into phthalo blue. Could use some Prussian blue for this, but I had the phthalo blue already out, so we'll just work with that. I don't know if I want to add some clouds in here or not. If I want it to be kind of stormy. I don't think I do. Maybe I do. I don't know. A little extra here. I think that's good. I have difficulty doing Good highlights on mountains. Can you do a big old mountain in your next stream? Maybe throw in some fall leaves too, because it's fall, yeah. Yeah, I can. I did make a video, I don't know how long ago it was. I feel like it was forever ago, but I'm, it was like a very simple how to highlight mountains video. And it's very short. It's like two, two or three minutes long. But I don't know if that one would help in the meantime. So you don't have to wait until next week. Just throwing some more blue in here. I can already tell I have too much oil up here. Because the paint's starting to just slide everywhere. I might have to wipe some off here in a sec. Yeah. Or we can make do. We can make do with that. All right, let's add some more blue. We'll have some water for those icebergs. That's a lot of blue. <laughs> I said some blue, I meant a ton of blue. All right, we've got a blue canvas. We're done, <laughs> it's a modern art here. Just kidding. I might wipe some of this oil off though, because it's bothering me. I can feel it. I can feel it on the canvas. Let's just see. Let's see how bad it is. This is how I test. I set it there for a second. Oh no. Yeah, that's pretty bad. There's a lot of oil up here, folks. Yeah, depending on how much gets pulled off is how much oil you've got. So if you barely set it on there and then you just pull the thing off and you have a giant spot, there's a ton of oil in that spot. Because it didn't soak in or didn't stick anything. It just came right off. So anything you put on top is just gonna slide around. Maybe do it the second penny because I usually go in kind of late. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I can do that. All right, let's do some simple what kind of clouds do they have in the Antarctic? That's where penguins live, right? I guess it's the same kind of clouds as you get anywhere else. <laughs> a cloud is a cloud. But one nice thing about having a very oily canvas is you can just slide paint everywhere. That makes for really nice clouds. Just using titanium white on the fan brush, swinging it around like crazy. Maybe some stringy ones down here. Very oily here in the middle, so I'll have to remember that when I do anything else. Let's get the old. Uh, do I want to use the blue brush or the white? Maybe I'll use the blue brush. It's, it's already dirty. Just doing circles. I'm pressing pretty hard there. It's 
not the usual light strokes there. I'm pressing really hard. So I've got a ton of oil on it and I'm trying to pull it off as I'm going around. sitting on the side. He's not all the way down. And then he comes comes back down here. Alright. Oh no. I just pulled the top of my fan brush off. That's sad. Nothing super glue can't fix. Alright, let's get the old blendy brush that we used before. I just what was that? Oh my neighbor's dog's outside. That's oh, my calendar, sorry. <laughs> the clock is telling me it's almost six. for me to tell here is this is that white here I think it is I want this to be more bluish instead of white but I think there's too much oil for me to fix that so we'll just make do all right get out here apple calendar all right time for some icebergs which have mostly blue, I think. At least in the back, I can just do them as mostly blue. Let's see what I want to do here. We're making some icebergs. So we'll add some blue and white. These ones are far away. I'm just using the filbert brush. At least for these little ones. Very far away ones. down. Actually, the fan brush might be better for this because it's more pointy. Let's do that. Let's switch it up before we get too far. This is the one. This is the one with the pop top. Yes. All right. We're going to have to toss that one. Thank you for your service, fan brush. It's been a pleasure. All right. Let's go in here. And down straight up and down kind of like what I would do for trees normally All right there's one far away far away off in the distance iceberg let's do another one over here just pull them down might need a little bit more blue so it does have to be a little bit darker than the uh foreground or the clouds you know can't have a can't have an iceberg that's lighter than its background that's just weird all right there's a couple and then let's do let's do one closer by a little bit just throw them in right here and these ones I'm actually gonna highlight so just apply this dark color first and then we'll make it a little bit better. I could add some black to this to make it a little bit more dark, but I don't think I am yet. Not yet at least. Maybe in the future. Some over here. Maybe this one comes up to the side. And he's more square. He's more square of a... square iceberg he comes off there hard to see a little hard to see for me all this blue but 
we'll make it work. All right, let's get the, what brush is this? No, palette knife. Might actually need more white when I do this. But let's just start adding in iceberg shapes. I guess splash out is the word I'm looking for. These back ones, they don't need to be too detailed. They'll probably be farther away. done anyway we're just adding in some penguins sorry about that and I'll upload it later too so don't be too worried if stuff crosses out like that Just adding in little beaks on them. This one might be a little bit bigger. Not big white bellies too. I just haven't haven't added those in yet. I forget what. Uh, I think my camera just fell asleep is the problem. I think I have it on an hour timer. So if nothing. Nothing charges it for an hour, just kind of, and I'm not hitting the record button, it'll just conk out. So I think that's what happened. Hopefully it didn't ruin anybody's day. Jumping off the side. Let's see if we can make them round. Round ish. I don't know how penguins jump off things either. I only see it on. What's that called? Planet Earth. Oh, there we go. That guy looks nice. That's a nice penguin. Just doing little circles here with the. Uh, Filbert, the old Filbert brush. Half circle. I'm pretty sure they have orange on them somewhere. Hey, did your internet cut out? Uh, the camera, the camera cut out. It, uh, I didn't have it plugged into power, <laughs> so it was just run on battery power this whole time. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Just putting yellow ochre on their noses. <laughs> They're happy penguins. Especially this guy, he's just, he's having the best day ever. Gotta add little foots on them though. There we go. <laughs> no, 
lies somewhere on this guy's shoulder here. Or that's his tail and his shoulder. All one thing. He's just having a good time. And maybe... Oh, maybe there's one already in the water. There's a little head sticking up here. He's looking out at everybody saying, why aren't you in the water with me? Yellow ochre. It looks more like a mallard duck. That's okay. Maybe it is a mallard duck. Maybe somehow he made it up here and he's okay. I feel like he needs a bigger body if he's going to be a penguin. You can put some white on him. And then we'll just splash some water like he's been in the water already. <laughs> Corner store Bob Ross painting penguins good <laughs> thing. All right, maybe we'll add some more. That's not blue enough or white enough. Sorry, I'm going for a white splash. put some more water down here or splashy water and I'll blend it out here in a second there we go there we go I can go up here too Needs a bigger hair in the Titanic. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to paint the Titanic. That's just terrible. Well, I guess it's not terrible. It's just not something I want to paint. In one of my earliest streams, someone asked me to paint a cruise ship in the middle of a Bob Ross painting. I ended up adding a speedboat. It came out okay. I made it a little late, fell asleep, took a good nap. <laughs> no worries, Billy. We're just here painting some penguins, hopping into into the water. All right, and I might add one more rock here up in the front, next to this guy. It'll be a little tricky because it's right on the corner, but we'll make it work. Just some black blue. Maybe just use up all these colors. I didn't use any burnt sienna. I thought I would. It happens. All right, we'll go up that side. And I might add one over here too. I don't really know. Don't really know what I'm doing yet with the bottom. I just know there's a lot, a lot of oil on this canvas. All right, we had it on that side. And then maybe we'll add some more down here. Has to be taller. Mess that one up a little bit. He has to be taller than the bottom. All right, there we go. Then I'll add the rest of the white. Really, just cover these up. Or not cover them up, but fill them in. sides here. Kind of mess this up just a little bit. 
That's okay. We got the penguins and we got the icebergs. There's a <laughs> giant glob of pink there. That's okay. Can clean that off afterwards. All right. I'll get some oil, thin oil. And white, or no, red, which I already have up here. I can just use that. I don't know, should we add anything else? I think that's okay. It's okay here. After the stream had died. Just put my signature over this rock. Next time I'll remember to plug the camera in to the power. Instead of just having power, a battery powered camera the whole time. Alright, got that clean, I got that clean. Paint all over my fingers. Alright, everybody, I was just painting. Painting up some penguins requested by Paul. Got some. Add a little sailboat? Oh, geez. I guess we can. Where would we add it? In the middle? Yeah, I guess we might as well. We got all that burnt sienna. We might as well put it to use. Sienna makes a good boat hole. Boat hole color. Let's do that. We got time, I think. Do we have time? Yeah, we got time. Let's do that. We can add in a sailboat out here. Let's just put them in the middle. Just got a pole left to right. Pull down just a little bit. It's gonna be mostly underwater there. I'll do. This is burnt sienna. I don't think I said that. Let's do that. How big is the sail? I'll make it pretty big. Not straight though, because my hands are not steady. There we go. Whenever my hands aren't being steady, I just let uh, I just set the paintbrush on the canvas and pull down. Let gravity pull it. Just came up with a good idea. Start well. Don't have to, but you want to do sci-fi paintings, do a storyline. <laughs> yeah, I do. I could do some sci-fi paintings or try them out. We'll see how they go. Asteroids. <laughs> yeah. I could do. I could try. I'd need a lot of, uh, or I probably wouldn't need it, but I would want to want some gesso. Black gessoed canvases. I'm only painting a couple of sailboats, so I'm just trying to remember how I did them before. I believe it was this way. Something like that. And then you pull down from here. Or pull left, sorry. But the paint has to be kind of thin. be kind of thin for this to work. Yeah. Not thin enough. Very, very thin. Lots of magic white in here. All right, I'll try this one more time. There's some brown on there. And also use the, uh, what is it? What's that brush? No, not the brush. Palette knife. You can use a palette knife to do this too. I did that one time. And that came out a little bit better because the palette knife makes straighter lines. Here we 
go. Just gonna tap on the very corner. Keep pulling to the left. I think that's good for a sailboat. I don't know. Is it good? Should be fine. And we can add some, just touch the middle of the mast. And then blend out the bottom just a little bit. There we go. There's kind of a kind of a uh, sailboat. I don't know what he's doing in the Arctic, but he's just hanging out. some black there. Not good. Not good at all. Oh well. We just embrace it. Embrace it and move on. And cover it up with more white and blue. Maybe it's splashing up on from the back. I don't know. We're just kind of winging it here, folks. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Probably could. All right, there we go. There's a sailboat and some penguins in an Arctic bay of some sort. Sci-fi paintings. We could do that. We could do that sometime. Never tried an asteroid before, but always up for the challenge. took the painting down and signed it but <laughs> we modified it a little bit since then so there we go here's this one the uh, little sailboat little iceberg some penguins having fun not too bad all right i'll go put this over here and then yeah i'll call it a day